We're going to cut grafting wood for walnut grafting. Uh, I want to point out that this tree was grafted, it's gone through two growing seasons. The first year this main stem grew, this last year these side branches grew. And I could mention that this was a pretty big tree because we changed varieties here and uh, generally you wouldn't have a two-year-old top on a tree that big. So, um, in, to begin with, I like a older tree, uh, a couple of years older, or at least one year older than this, so that you've had a chance to see the walnuts that it produced. Um, there's been a couple of instances in California where they've had some terrible mix-ups and um, been grafted wrong varieties on because the people did not see the production of the tree before they cut the grafting wood. So a tree a year or two older than this would give you a chance to see the crop. And um, so we, we want a tree that's growing vigorously, making big long growth. And we usually only use about the base one third of the wood. Um, if you're very short of grafting wood and conditions are ideal, you can use wood a little farther out. But uh, if things are not perfect, you don't want to. This, uh, this piece is not the best in the world. It's, it's pretty long between the inner nodes. And we, don't, we like the inner nodes to be a little closer. Uh, now this one is better in that regard. Um, it has a, a bud here, or a set of buds here, and a set of buds there, and another set there. We also looking for a piece of wood that has two buds in each uh, spot, a primary bud and a secondary bud, so that if something happens to the primary bud, you've got a, another shot at it. And uh, this one only has a primary bud. This one has a primary and a secondary. This one has a primary and a secondary. This one has a primary and a secondary. So it's a, a better piece. So we would cut that off there and cut it off here. Um, another problem uh, with grafting wood is that it'd be best if you didn't drop it on the ground because uh, the crown gall organism can be on the soil and oftentimes is. And uh, if your sign would hit the ground, you could get it inoculated and then you get graft uh, crown galls in the graft union. And I have seen a couple of times where it's been an epidemic in orchards and in nurseries. And so to avoid that, you stay off the ground. So anyway, there's uh, one piece. And then uh, I like this one pretty good. So we'll take it off. And uh, so we, uh, we only want the, the lower portion. This is getting pretty small. The um, diameter of the wood, you using depends a lot on uh, on how strong the grafter is if you're big and tough and strong you can use pretty big wood but uh, personally I don't like real big wood because it's just too darn hard to cut um, if you're whip grafting you need wood that's about very much the same size as the tree that you're at the point that you're going to graft the tree so uh, that depends somewhat so anyway, here's another piece. This is quite a bit smaller. And if it's a nice firm piece of wood, I mean nice and round and mature looking, um, being small really doesn't hurt any. And uh, so we're using about the, that portion there. Um, another thing to watch for is uh, that the buds are really vegetative buds. This particular piece has catkins and uh, there's uh, two catkins there there are two catkins there and there's one uh, uh, vegetative bud and one catkin bud there and then one catkin bud there and that's a real poor piece of wood because uh, the catkins aren't going to get you anywhere so you have to watch for that this is a primary and secondary bud both together is what we really want So then the next thing is to store the wood, and if you're just doing a few pieces, you put them in a plastic bag um, with some moist material in there, moist shavings, or, uh, or just very few, you can even moist paper bags, and hold them in the refrigerator at uh, 
32 or 33 or 34 um, and don't put them in the freezer because that'll probably kill them. Uh, if you're doing a whole bunch, you use uh, people store them in, uh, in uh, peach bins uh, and um, with moist shavings. We don't want the shavings soaking something wet, um, but they, it wants to be moist. And also, uh, uh, most people are, prefer uh, kiln, uh, shavings off of kiln-dried pine. Some of the shavings that you can buy, which is just a bedding mixture, I don't think is too good.